today I'm going to be teaching you how to tie a D loop using some D loop material on a compound bowstring. So here I have a fresh cut end of D loop. What you're going to want to do with this is just go ahead and burn it. Once it's good and melty, go ahead and push it onto something flat so that it gets a nice flat head on it. So I used the knife that I used to cut it and now we've got that stop on there. We're going to do this to both sides. And we may end up needing to do this again at a later stage. So first thing you want to do now that you are cut and burnt is go ahead and make a loop shape. Turn this whole thing into a big U or a big J or whatever as long as you have it doubled over. Put the loop under the string like this. Go ahead and put both ends of your line through there and then take the short end and work it down until it is right in that. You'll see where it's seated in there. And that's why you make those little heads is so that it can't pop through and ruin your loop. Now that we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and put the loop behind the string here, bring it back up around and through the middle of the loop right here, through here. And then we're going to bring it down underneath the string. So through the middle, down underneath, and then you're gonna have a little pocket right there that you just made. You're gonna to wanna to pop this head through that pocket. And this is where you're going to adjust the actual length of your D loop. Since I'm not going to be leaving this one on, it's okay for it to be long for me, but if you just pull, it down there and then bring your burnt end up. You can shorten it down and then what you want to do is cut off your excess from your original burnt end and then you're going to want to burn that again. Push it against something flat. Make sure you don't burn your whole loop material or your string though because then you're going to have some bigger problems on your hands than a little bit of extra string. So, there it is. That's how you tie a D-loop.